Hi, I'm Sanma Benawan. In this video, I'm going to solve the 15 mark question from the specimen A paper. This is probably the easiest 15 mark question, so definitely start with this video. So the first step is we're going to understand what the question is asking for, kind of picture the data structures that we need, if there are any constants, if there are any variables, and kind of put some test data and think about what would the possible results be, so then we can go ahead and write the algorithm. So the question reads, the one-dimensional array student name contains the names of students in a class. The 2D array student mark contains the mark for each subject for each student. The position of each student's data in the two arrays is the same. For example, the student in position 10 and student name and student mark is the same. The variable class size contains the number of students in the class. The variable subject number contains the number of subjects studied. All students study the same number of subjects. The arrays and variables have been set up and the data is stored. Okay, so we don't really care what the data is. You're going to manipulate the data, but you don't need to see it. I want you to take a minute to kind of picture all the data structures that you need. So we need a one dimensional array. What else do we need? And what are the dimensions of those arrays? So the first array, as we can see, is a 1D array called student name. And the length of that array, or how many elements are in that array, is equal to class size. The second data structure that we have is a 2D array. And this 2D array has the number of rows of class size and the number of columns of subject number okay so and then they also said that student name one has the marks that are in student mark one and one 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 two and one three for example if you have subject number three let's look at some possible test data so here's some test data we have student name its class size is equal to 5. So I have Amr, Bilal, Taha, Yusuf, and Zaid. Amr has, Amr has these marks in student marks. So I'm saying subject number, I'm assuming, I'm just making some test data, subject number is equal to 3. So And it says every student is studying the same number of subjects. So that means they all have marks, they all have 3 marks. So Amr's marks are 80, 90, 100. Bilal's marks are 175, 80. Taha's marks are 85, 90, 95. Yusuf's marks are 70, 80, 90. And Zaid's marks are 85, 95, 100. All right, let's keep reading a little bit more. So we talked about the arrays and variables. Students are awarded a grade based on their average mark. If their average mark is greater than or equal to 70, the grade is distinction. If it's greater than or equal to 55 and less than 70, the grade is merit. If it's greater than or equal to 40 and less than 55, it's pass. And finally, if the average mark is less than 40, then the grade awarded is fail. So let's see what we need to output according to our test data with these students and these marks. Write a program that, follows the that meets the following requirements. Calculates the combined total mark for each student for all their subjects. Calculates the average mark for each student for all their subjects rounded to the nearest whole number. Outputs for each student. Their name, their combined total mark, their average mark, and their grade awarded. So we have four outputs that are happening for each student, okay? And uh, finally, Calculate stores and outputs a number of distinctions, merits, passes, and fails for the whole class. So if this was our class of five students and these were their marks, this is what the program would need to output at the end. It would show Amr got 270 his, as a total mark. His average is 19. He got distinction. Bilal had 115 marks. And we have to round his average to only 38, which is fail. Taha got 270 total marks. His average is 90 over these three. Um, like marks and distinction. Yusuf 60, his average is 20, fail, Zaid 195, average 65, merit. Okay, and finally, after we output all the data for each student, we output the summary for the class. There are two distinctions, one merit, zero passes, and two fail. So we're going to write a program to come up with these outputs. So let's consider the programming constructs that we need to be able to solve this question. We're going to need a for loop to iterate through all the students, okay? Because we're printing their students' names and each one's total and each one's average, right? And each one's 
grade awarded. So we need a big for loop. So this is going to be four row from one to class size and it's going to have a few steps inside it. Okay, so step A, we're going to create an outer a for loop that's going to iterate through each student. And the first statement inside that for loop is print the student's name. So if we look at the output from these, this code that's written in black font color, here are the output from this code so far. The rest is comments, so it would not give any outputs. So here's the output so far. Let's go ahead and do the next step. The next step B says we need to calculate and output the total for each student. Now the total is going to be a for loop which starts from subject number equals one and then subject number equals two until the total number of subject numbers. In this case in our test data we have three subjects. So we're doing a totaling algorithm. So a totaling algorithm you're going to have to initialize total and you're going to have a for loop for column from one to subject number. Total equals total plus student mark. Student mark is a two dimensional array. So it takes row, comma, column. And finally, next column. At the end of this for loop, we'll have the total for that particular student. So we can print the total. Have a look at our outputs on the right. So according to this code so far, we were able to print the name and the total mark for each student. Now we're going to go ahead to part C. Calculate and output the average for each student rounded to the nearest whole number. So the average is equal to, we're going to use the predefined function round, which takes the number that you want to round. So it's the total divided by the class size, comma, how many places you want to round to. In our case, we want zero decimal places. So this will calculate the average and then we're going to print average. So after all these lines of code on the, in black on the left, here are our outputs so far on the right. All right, so part D wants us to determine what's the grade. Is it distinction, merit, pass, or fail? Okay, so we're going to have some selection statements. If the average was greater than or equal to 70, print distinction and also update the distinction counter. So D count equals D count plus one, because now we realize that somebody in the class has distinction. I would also put three more if statements identical to the one that we just read. And you can see them on the right. So you can see if average is greater than or equal to 55 and average is less than 70, then print merit m count equals m count plus one. And if, if average is greater than or equal to 40 and average is less than 55, then press print pass p count is equal to p and count plus one. And if also one more if statement, if the average is less than 40, then print fail and f count is equal to f count plus one. So once we have finished those if statements, you can see that for each student in the big for loop, we've printed their name, we've printed their total marks, we've printed their average, and we've printed their grade. All right, after we've completed that for loop, which iterates through each student of size, class size, now we are ready to show the summary for the whole class. So we're ready to, you know, after next row, we're going to print the number of distinctions is D count. The number of merits is M count. The number of pass is P count. And the number of fail is F count. So now we've finished all the requirements for this 13, 15 mark question. If you'd like to see the whole code, here's the entire code. Okay, I just couldn't fit like on one line, so I put the if statements on the right side. But here's the entire code in pseudocode with some comments. Um, if you'd also wanted to do like initialize, sorry, declare the arrays, I'll put that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want some more 15 mark questions. Bye bye.